Hello everybody, I'm back with a new video and today we're going to be making this teddy bear sitting on a macaron. I think it turned out super cute, so let's jump right into it. So to start off, I made an oval-like shape for the head. To make the body, I just made a round ball and it is smaller than the body and I just attached both of them together. I didn't really show me making the head and like the body much because it is pretty self-explanatory and I really take my time to perfect it so this video would have gotten really long. So then I made a cylinder like shape and I cut it in two and that made the legs for the bear and as you can see I'm just attaching them with the body. I made two balls of clay for the ears and again I am just attaching them with the head. To blend in the ears and the legs I took my needle tool and I blended it in. You can use a dotting tool or even a toothpick if you don't have a needle tool. I also made a little heart and I stuck that to the stomach of the bear. I didn't show myself making it because my hand was coming in the camera um, way so it was really hard to show. And I made the arms the same way as we made the legs and again I'm just blending it in with my finger. Uh, you really want to blend all of it in because you don't want an arm or a leg falling off the teddy bear. So I made a little indent for the eyes using a dotting tool. You don't really need to do this, but I just wanted to make indents. And then I just put two little balls of black polymer clay inside and I just pressed it in and yeah, that was pretty much the eyes. And now you want to let it bake in the oven for about 15 minutes. Once it was out of the oven, I went ahead with some grey acrylic paint and I added the details. And then I went with some black acrylic paint and I added the nose and the mouth for the bear. And finally, to complete it, I just added the blush. And I'm taking my triple thick gloss glaze and I'm glazing the teddy bear. Now that we've made the teddy bear, it's time to make the macaron. So I made a huge ball of clay and I'm cutting it in two with my blade. You want to try to cut it the same size, uh, but I think I kind of made one bigger than the other. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just pressing it down and I'm kind of making this dome-like shape like a normal macaron would have. So that's what I'm doing and I'm just uh, kind of like making it uh, bigger in size. So I'm just flattening it down but in a dome-like shape. Then I'm taking my clay thingy machine. I have no idea what you call this but I paid $30 for it. And honestly, it wasn't even worth it, but you do get like different plates that you have. So it, it's just taking out like a huge, a large uh, snake of clay, um, which is kind of useful, but I mean, I don't really use it. So if you don't have this, you can just roll out a snake of clay and then you want to put it around your cookie.
taking a needle tool or a toothpick, you want to give it texture. So there's no real way to do it. You just want to get crazy with it and just add a lot of texture to it. Kind of time consuming, but I really enjoy doing this part for some reason. I also made a white circle of clay for the filling and I'm just putting that on top of the macaron and then I'm finally putting the top part of the macaron and that's pretty much it. You want to let it bake in the oven for about 20 minutes. And now I have the macaron on the table and I'm going to be putting the teddy bear on top. So I took some super glue and I'm just attaching the teddy bear on top. Pretty simple. I think it turned out super cute and let me know a name for the teddy bear in the comments down below so that we can name him. I have him sitting on my table right now and I'm seriously obsessed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.